Is there anything in particular that you think you like struggle with or that you wanted to like take away from this or is it just kind of go? Yeah, def and... definitely. Um, I've been, I've been like thinking a lot about like, you know, trying to improve uh, lately and mm -hmm. like watching my replays and trying to understand what the problem is. Um, I think in general, um, my farm isn't the problem. Um, I think it's just like what, what happens is I play away from my team for like the first 20, 30 minutes or so getting my farm and like, you know, in this case, pushing bottom, right. Um, as the, is like the standard carry thing, right. Like push bottom. Uh, after after the landing phase here you go bottom and like just typically you, you know just farm there um and then what happens is like um i'll be playing by myself mostly uh for the first part of the game and i just can't seem to like win the game like i think my farm is sufficient but either um I'll just like feed in a fight and and it doesn't like matter right like if you're like uh top net worth if you just like run into the fight and like get stunned and killed it, like your farm doesn't matter at all right <laughs> like um so that happens sometimes um and other times like my the way i like like i learned I used to get coaching from another guy and he was super about like for P1, like basically just split pushing all the time. So I tend to have that style where I'm just like, I just play bottom. And I noticed like this pattern that happens in like almost every game. I'm like pushing bottom tier two, right? And my team is just like, like, like every game, my team is just top. And they're just all dying top. And they're like, Jug, like, why don't you join the fight, man? I'm like, why would I, like, why would I go top? Like, what are we going to do there, you know? Like, I, and, and that's that's one thing that's weird that I don't, I don't quite get. So, so there's that. And, um, yeah, it's just like, uh, it just seems like I am getting enough farm, but, like, just, like, Ending the game and like closing the game out uh, just seems seems pretty tough. Okay. Okay, we'll take a look at what happens and we'll see. Um, I would think that like I kind of what you were saying about like playing bottom a lot and like wanting your team come to like help you and they just like die top. That's definitely something that happens a lot at low and Mars so, like carry players who like kind of have that idea in their head. Um. I don't think there's, like, a foolproof solution to that, because, like, at the end of the day, you are somewhat at the mercy of your teammates. However, what I notice a lot in um, games at this level is, like, you, you'll have, like, some sort of farming pattern, and people won't go do things, like, around, like, their power spikes, even if that thing does happen to be, like, top, right? Um, as a carry a lot yeah. of times, like, you can call for a smoke if you, like, finish an item and like finish your farming like rotation like around the triangle right and you're like sucks kind of close to your team you can like call for a smoke and like go make a play that way as opposed to just like constantly split pushing and waiting for your team to like show up to you you know um i think it takes a little bit more of a concerted effort probably more so at lower levels to like make proactively like choose when you're like making plays like make sure it's around like your like timings and your power spikes i think that's something that like people at your level struggle with a lot. So we'll take a look and we'll see what happens. Um, then I'll obviously just point out any other like stuff that I notice that you can improve on. Does that sound good? Yeah, definitely. That sounds great. Okay. Starting games I think are a little weird just based on what I would imagine their lineup to be. Um, Cause like in my head, you're probably against Jakiro Bounty Hunter, possibly a Pudge if like the Jakiro's mid. Jakiro does cast spells, but he doesn't cast a lot, and like Bounty Hunter doesn't really cast a lot of spells 
at least not right away, and neither does Pudge. So I'm questioning this stick a little bit. Not that I don't like stick in general, but just to start with it. Um, it's, yeah, I, it's so not think, a huge criticism, think... but it's but... just something I'm noticing. Like, I don't think I would start these items based on like what I'm seeing. Yeah. It's definitely not like a obvious stick. It's not like a bristleback, right? That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think starting stick is like kind of decent these game uh, some days. Well, oh, it's a bit of a wasted spin. Well, what can you do? All right, let's take a look at what actually happens. So your wish doctor is like blocking. It's kind of just like grief from the get go. Interesting. Yeah, this is another common thing. Well, no, never mind. This yeah, I, I don't think that spin was too good. Um, I get what you're going for, like kind of try and capitalize on maybe the maledict. Um, but it puts you in a really awkward spot, and like your witch doctor was so low that like you couldn't really do much. But it's okay. We'll, we'll keep going. I don't. I don't want to like harp too much on like stuff in the lane if like it's just like crazy and your support's like playing really bad like there's only so much you can like do um, okay, so you have healing ward you use it it's good um, okay My okay boots I think definitely you want to be like creep back going here. Like just put the ward on yourself. Like I don't think you need to be sitting under the tower. These replay books are crazy these days. Um, but like have your ward on yourself, but like just defensive aggro backwards here. Like that's what you should be looking to do constantly in the lane. Um, like this guy yeah. created you, but it's really like I'd rather you get two creeps than like sit and like not get any because you're worried about your this clarity getting popped. You know what I mean? Grabbing my paper to write down some notes here. Sure, no problem. Um, I am recording this too, so you'll be able to watch it back. But okay, um, if you want to take notes, that's obvious. That's fine too. Um, yeah. So like here, I would definitely just be looking to creep aggro more. Um, you're playing like way far back. Like I'm not saying you need to engage them, but um, like you did it once, but then you kind of like are doing it inconsistently. Like now you did it. But like in these, in these like harder lanes where you just don't want to straight up fight them, it's important to um, keep cre creep aggroing. Yeah, keep creep aggroing because they like won't punish you too hard for that. Um, also here, I'll just this is like small, but if there's like a bunch of creeps for them, like it's pushing in pretty hard on you. Um, like here it is, they've got an extra a full extra range creep. Um, yeah, and their other heroes like walked away like i would take this opportunity to like right click down like one of these range creeps like right now just like yeah attack it, equal it down out and kill it yeah it equals it out yeah. and it's like a kind of secures a range creep which are like going to be harder for you to get in this lane anyways right right yeah that's a good point just get it while i can yeah yeah like if, if they ever like leave like it's okay to just like kind of go ham on a creep and like take like in the hard lanes you want to take advantage of um these opportunities Okay, it's not too bad. It's a good, good aggression attempt. All right, you didn't chase like crazy far. That's nice. Yeah, like like this. I like what you're doing there. Like while they're not here fucking with you, just like kind of focusing the creeps down. I, I kind of really like what you're doing here. I don't see people do this a lot. Okay. Pretty good. So you're going treads. Kira, Kira is super annoying to lane against. Yeah. Q is just so powerful. I will not that was kind of iffy. A bit of a panic here, but you got a self yeah. coming out. Or wish to actually the self actually looks like. Okay, okay, so you're like buying stuff. It's kind of taking a lot of your attention, it seems like, to buy this stuff. Um, I would definitely want you to be like up here defensive creep bag wing again. Um, you can just do it like multiple times in a row um, so that they don't like. You can even do it all the way under your tower just to secure like a couple creeps. Okay. 
Um, one thing I'll note is that in hard lanes where you're taking a lot of harass, um, I've seen good players go two points in healing ward. Um, like they'll go two two zero at level four. Like if you're just taking a lot of damage all the time, just go more for the healing ward and the sustain. It's like totally worth it. The heal actually increases like th two to three percent is a lot. Um, it's like a fifty percent increase in effectiveness if you think about it that way. Because um, it's shit based on your. Yeah, it's based on your. Um, what is it based on your max health? Yeah, max health. So, um, it increases a lot. And what you, if so, so this ended up being Jakiro Bounty, which is like a little predictable. Um, like I said, it could have been Pudge Jakiro, or maybe it could have been Pudge Bounty. I don't know. Um, but you're gonna be taking a lot of harass. So in these lanes where you think you might take a lot of harass, like an alternative starting build where, like, the stick maybe wasn't as effective, is you could have even started, like, um, with, like, a Mango or a Sage's Mask and, like, a little bit of extra, like, stats. And you can, like... Oh, yeah. You can buy your own Sage's Mask, and then you can, like, put the two points early in Healing Ward and, like, just keep yourself sustained that way. You know what I mean? Like, you have the ability to, like, keep yourself sustained like just through, like, item choices. Um, Would you do, so, like, yeah. a Basilius? You can Ring go full Basilius, yeah. Um... Depends on how much mana, like, you think you need. Like, Bassy's good if you, like, think your ally is gonna, like, get a lot of impact from it. Um, I probably wouldn't go Bassy, like, if I had, like, somebody like this Witch Doctor who's, like, not being super useful. Um, yeah. But you can go Bassy and then you can get, like, a Raindrop if you want or something. Although Raindrop's not just really good in this lane. But, like, you can even just buy it casually as you're, like, farming. And it'll, like, keep your mana up. Like, if you have a Sage's Mask and a uh, Raindrop, you can kind of like, yeah. and your and if you're tread switching, it'll let you like spin pretty much off cooldown, like while you're while you're like jungling right after you left the lane or something. Yeah, it's a good idea. Like, and it, especially if like a wraith band wouldn't be good either. That's like a kind of a different option. Yeah. Like if stick isn't good and wraith band isn't good, then you might be in like just like a harass lane. So this would be a different exactly. option to that. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, and here like I'd want to see defensive crew going again. Um. Well, somehow you like ran at this guy, but then like you didn't. I don't know if you were trying to do it there and it didn't work. Um, but you're really like seeding a lot here when you could just be defensive aggroing um, more and like getting these creeps. Like I like that you're not trying to fight them and engage them. Like that makes sense to me. But then you don't have to like get nothing. Um, you could definitely like yeah. be creep aggroing more and you could be getting more creeps. And I, I promise you if you creep aggro all the time at this level, like you'll just, you know, even if you don't get every last hit, like, you will just get extra last hits, and, like, you know, if you're just doing it constantly and making sure you're, like, always, like, in a safe spot when you're hitting the creeps, you'll take less damage, and you'll, like, get more out of the lane. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you bailed. Did you tread switch here? Yeah, you did. Nice. Yeah, at this point, I was like, fuck, dude. Screw I don't... <laughs> think this tp is good because i think if you had walked back to base there you then could have tp'd bottom when you were full hp again or sorry tp top you just could have tp'd back to your lane um because okay. if you're full hp like you can be in the lane for a little while they kind of like harass you down over time but if you come back with full hp full mana like you've got a healing ward to work with you've got a spin you can even like spin a wave and then like b bounce and that would still be like kind of worth and you kind of didn't get. If you think about yeah, it, even distance like, wise, you were like already halfway back to base, and now you're gonna have to walk out. Versus if you'd walked out of base, you could have gone like all the way to the tower. Kind of would have got you more distanced. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. And you never know what'll happen. Like mid lane could open up or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I I think going back to base was correct. I just don't think I would have TP'd there. Okay. Not a huge deal. Okay, so we're creeps. So I think at this phase in the game, you have to be like very, like like this happens a lot on carry. You get booted out of lane, right? And you're like kind of in yeah. cover mode. You have to yep. be very aware of like what lanes you can like go to and like what you can do while you're jungling. So here, Bounty Hunter showed mid. This Bounty Hunter's mid mm. now. So what you should do is you just beeline straight back for top. 
and like be in okay. this lane until he comes back because it's more efficient for you to be in this lane um i mean like i said even if you just spin a wave and then like back off and like jungle right um let's didn't mean to do that so maybe you do go back top but i like what it like if you see this bounty hunter you just gotta like kind of beeline for top like there's no reason for this jakiro to be like freely farming this lane and like you could be yeah. contesting this jakiro um for sure like even if you're not killing him He's like getting a free like he's getting free tower pressure for like no reason because like the bounty. Hunter I mean, worst case scenario, he dual breaths me pretty much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can like That's spin it. healing ward like you have ways to like deal with that. Yeah. Um, it's not the end of the world. Find and kind of he should be pretty scared like, of me. Chose to come here. You chose to come here when the tower died and like while bounty hunter was there, which is interesting to me. And the bounty hunter left, which you know is nice. Um, so here again, like, Bounty Hunter's mid, Pudge is mid, um, Lich was dead. Like, I would definitely want to be pushing this next wave that's right here, uh, being aware of, like, when these creep waves are going to come and what you can get away with based on the enemy showing on the map. Like, the okay. lane should be your number one priority if they're safe, right? Um, so that's, like, kind of what I was talking about in choosing to go top is, like, your goal as you're like doing this like recovery is to be in a lane if at all possible um like Maybe, yeah. identifying yeah, yeah. that you can't lane is one thing but then like knowing like okay when can i go back to this lane now um wow, this replay looks crazy like knowing when you can go back to the lane is like really key to like getting the most out of like what your hero is capable of doing for your team makes sense um, so, like, you could be farming this creep wave for free. Um, this one that's top, not only would it be, like, good farm, but it would apply tower pressure. Like, these creeps would already be hitting, with a catapult, like, be hitting this tower. Forcing somebody on their team to deal with it. So, when you said that you played, like, a kind of a split push style, um, it's, like, you shouldn't always be near your team, but you should always be applying the maximum amount of pressure you're capable of applying away from your team. Like, that's yeah. really important to being able to do what you're doing and, like, not fucking your team over. Um, the fact that you're not applying pressure while they're showing, like, multiple heroes bottom is just really bad. Um, yeah. Like, AFK farming your own jungle while they're showing three heroes bottom and the other two are dead is, like, super trash, uh, just to be real with you. So you have to identify, you have to be looking at your map, thinking about which lanes you can go to, and like noticing like, oh, the two are dead and the other two are bottom. Like I can go to any lane I want right now. Like that's what you need to be thinking and you need to run to either lane. I, I honestly don't even care which one and just shoving it in, you know? Okay. Um, so definitely have to be doing that. If you watch like, um, I mean, any high MMR replay of, like, a carry who doesn't have a good lane, like, watch how they, like, recover. I have a couple of videos on my YouTube channel about, like, um, how to farm or, like, how to recover. Specifically, it's carry. When you're behind, I have one on Jug specifically. Um, and then I have another one that I released very recently on Faceless Void. And you'll kind of note, like, how much I, like, prefer to go to lanes. And I, ta I talk about it. It's like a after the fact thing, so definitely something to approve on for you for sure. Um, you did eventually go to a lane, which is good. Okay, so you're like kind of trying to be a little greedy. Dude, this oh, is man. so epic. Watch this. Okay, that worked out. That worked out. That was pretty <laughs> sweet. That was pretty fun. Gotta admit. Clean it on the edge. Okay, so you're buying this wind lace. I don't mind that, actually. I mean, that, I mean, okay, so honestly, like, that was a little sketchy, I feel, in the what? mid lane there. What I just did in the mid lane. Like, I mean, it's just, well, I guess, like, I think Pudge is the only thing I need to be really mainly worried about, right? Um, but like, I just find that the mid the mid lane is, can be pretty dangerous a lot of times. Like, it's easy to feed there if you're not careful. A little bit, yeah. It's important to not stick around if you like don't see where the enemies are. Um, yeah. 
you know, you played it a little greedy, um, but you, like, you, you got out. Even if you hadn't, like, gotten kills on them, you, like, kind of got away. You could have left a little bit earlier, um, given that, like, they started to have heroes missing. But it wasn't a huge yeah. deal. I kind of, like, just liked the fact that you showed up the lane as opposed to um, pushing out um, or, like, jungling. So you're running to a wave here. I don't really like this because your Wish Doctor was already here. So, like, you finish this camp, right? And you have a choice of where to go. And you kind of mm -hmm. see they have, like, Heroes Bottom. And, like, there's, like, creeps up here that you could, like, go kill. I, th yeah. I think. I would make the choice to, like, go away from my team and, like, up towards this lane, which, like, they haven't shown any heroes at in a long time. Like, and now we see Bounty, we see Lich, we saw Pudgement. So, like, we, see, we saw four of them, right? We have all the information we might need to, like, let us know that this is, like, a free lane of farm. Um, right. So these are the things that you need to be, like, looking for to, like, identify, like, where am I going and, like, having that preference for lanes. And your Wish Doctor was already mid. Um, like, you already had a hero farming mid. So, like, it's just less efficient for you to run to where one of your teammates already is versus, like, running to where nobody is. Right. Um, right. So that way you're just get you're farming more of the map because what you do here just, you know, regardless of whether your Wish Doctor should be here or not, like, that literally doesn't matter. Um, what matters is just, like, being more efficient in general and, like, you know, part of that is just recognizing, like, oh, my team's here, like, I'm gonna go, you know, participate somewhere else. Um, so I like that you're taking this tower, this is nice. Um, notice that top is, like, pushing in pretty hard, though, now, right? Like, yeah. there's a bunch of creeps for you guys. Um, I would consider keeping top right now. You do have Omni, so you could take a look at bottom and decide if you want to join. Okay, so you do come bottom. I don't hate this. You have Omni. That kind of took a look before. Didn't look too bad. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Okay. It's reasonable. Go back to farming. So I'm just wondering, like, um, if I had played the lanes differently, like we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of like effect would that have? Oh, uh, that's a really good question. So if you had not gone mid and instead you had gone top, you probably would have pushed it into here, and then you could have started farming like all these jungle camps. And at any point, you could have made the same TP that you made, and you would have yeah. had. A bunch of extra farm. The mid tower wouldn't have died, but granted, you didn't like know you were going to be taking that mid tower when you like. No, yeah, that's kind of like. Uh, you know. Yeah, it's kind of like an after. That's yeah. I can see how like, at the time, the decision I made with the information I had, wasn't, the best. Um, yeah. And oh, turn it just because it turned out to work, doesn't mean that it. That's how it would normally happen. But I guess um, like should I think about like hitting that top tower? Um, it, just depends, it just depends on what you see. Um, yeah. Like, it, it is okay to hit the top tower on a hero like Juggernaut um, if you, like, see that they have a bunch of heroes somewhere else. Like, on some heroes, it's just not even worth it, right? If you're a PA, like, it doesn't matter. Like, you don't need to hit the tower. You just need to it's hit just a waste of time, yeah. Yeah, but on, on a hero like Jug, it can be good to hit the tower um, if you see everybody else. Like, you took that mid tower pretty easily. It's the same thing with, like, the top tier one, right? You don't need to be hitting a tier two, like, at this phase in the game, or even, like, yeah. Up to like 20 minutes, right? You can just push it in and then bounce. You don't need to like hit the tower and pressure it. But tier one's on Jug. You should feel pretty safe to hit at like any point. Um, assuming you like have the information of like they're not going to like show up and come in right now. Okay. Okay, so your team's like still chilling bottom. They all showed back at bottom. I think it's kind of fine that you like left because you used your ultimates and you weren't like clearly getting the tower, so. It's like fine. Yeah, it's kind of I'm not sure what to do. Anything. Then, yeah, I don't want to run all the way to the. I, mean, I guess I could have ran to that camp by the tier two, but I'm not sure if that's worth it. Yeah, probably not. Mm. Chase that guy away. I wouldn't have chased him that far. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. No, yeah. Bunch I, of creeps here. Yeah. That's kind of pointless. Yeah. Miss that two creeps for it. Miss all those creeps. Yeah, definitely wasn't 
Just let him run away. You went Yasha. You're going Manta? Manta's like reasonable, uh, actually. I don't hate Manta if that's where you're going. I think I'd just go Yasha. Oh, I'd go Yasha. That's interesting. Okay, so we're looking a little confused here. Let's. So we push this in. You don't see anybody. I think we had seen somebody though a second ago, right? Did we? Wow, these bugs are. So you just lost two years mid is what happened. And now you don't see anybody. I don't mind backing up here. I think you should just farm this big camp. Um, like if you f farm the big camp and like if you hit it and then like walk back um, to like. I guess I'm just worried about Pudge. A like further back. Well, right. Yeah. You need to be a little worried about it, but I think you could like kind of farm this camp like with the knowledge that they may come. Right. If they come, they're gonna come this yeah. way. And you'll like see them. Yeah. And, like I don't think this Pudge is a blink. Right. This Pudge is never blink. They're not really gonna kill you. Yeah. Unless Pudge somehow like gets on top of you. Or like land some sort of like crazy hook um because what i want you to do is that i want you to hang around here and like i want you to like farm this camp and wait for information is what i want to happen and yeah if nobody and if they continue to not show after you kill this camp right you can like back to your triangle knowing that they're like who know who the fuck knows what they're doing right but right now you don't really know what they're doing true does show bottom and like, like in this situation, like maybe you would have already started running back at this point, like if you had farmed this camp and like started backing up. But like, you see Pudge mid and your tusk is bottom, right? At this point, you're like, oh, well maybe we can just go kill this Jakiro, right? You can like make that decision. Now they're showing yeah. a bunch of heroes. See, now they're showing a bunch of heroes mid. Uh, not a bunch. They're showing two and Jakiro's still bottom, granted he's TPing, but like, I would be wanting to run back this tier one tower now. Now that they're showing right. like, a bunch of heroes mid. Right. You do. I, I guess you do good they shot down in top there's like three men on a ward it's good it's good tower pressure awareness oh why aren't you eating this tower so uh, because i am a concern that i think i lost vision of them so i don't know like are they gonna is Pudge gonna TP into the trees with another hero and hook me and I die? That's that, that's what I'm thinking. Right. Yeah. I mean. I'm just thinking like, fuck. I'm five and zero. Oh. If I fucking feed to this Pudge right now, that's like. A, I guess so, but I mean, like now thing. you see them all again, right? Like if you're scared, you can do the same thing. You can like back off a little bit and like farm a camp nearby and like wait for more information. So yeah, it's better to kind of like, yeah, I can see what you mean. Just kind of hang out, yeah, so be ready. Yeah, kind of like just lean ready. towards like pushing, and like if you're really scared, like you can wait a little bit and wait it out. That's okay. All right, so you kind of walk towards that, and I don't know what happened. Like that, like that, like staying bottom would have been way safer than what I just did right there. I think that was okay. You had Omni Slash, so like I don't mind yeah. like showing up to an engagement like. Omni slash. This is like makes sense to me. Like, we saw the bounty, dusted, killed him. That's fine. Um, they're like buying back, so I'd be like getting the fuck out now. I don't mind you're killing this creep wave actually. I guess you guys are, like, punch. Bring him up here. Okay, you're like completely out of mana. Like some clarities. Kind of got a lot of gold. I would have I would have leaned towards running straight bottom here, like, because we saw the spectre he was down here, and then we see him again. Like you can do what you did to him before, and like just chase him off this creep wave. Like this guy yeah, is not stronger than you. Yeah. No. Absolutely so instead, not. you like you kind of seed. He like gets this. I'm literally more lane afraid of a free. hero. Yeah, because you're just like passively farming the jungle. So when you can like boot the other like if you can if you know you're gonna be in a one v one situation with like their carry or with anybody really if you if you see somebody and you know that there's no teammates there to back them up and you know that like in a one v one that you can push them away it's really important that you just go do it um, yeah right that's a wave he wouldn't have gotten and it was like extra creeps that you like could have gotten okay 
So they like keep showing here's bottom. I guess you guys got the tower now. A lot of basher. I really don't like this basher. I think basher's trash, actually. Isn't it? Isn't it? I thought it was okay with shard. That's that was my idea. No, it's not that good. Basher is the way you should think about basher is you only need to buy it like if they're like TPing out in front of your face and it happens like three times or if they have some sort of super mobile hero that you need to like yeah. just bash once to like kill um, like a puck or a storm um, those are like the only two situations where basher is actually good it's actually trash um, outside of the situations like it's just so the opportunity cost of basher versus any other item is just awful okay um and yeah, I, you're not the first person I've told this to, and I think lower and more players like just super overvalue Basher. It's actually just like, it's an item to solve a specific problem, and if you're not having that problem, you just should not buy it. Um, yeah. I don't know how to be more clear than that. Um, but honestly, like, so th it's really more about like, probably like, you're gonna want to go abyssal right like mm -hmm. that's basically what you're mm -hmm. saying kind of right like if you think you need abyssal then you then you build it but like yeah because uh, you're saying like if there's a hero you need to just like you know bash and, and then omni like to catch then you, you'd probably anytime you build basher you're probably gonna end up building abyssal in most cases right for the most part um Wow, I'm looking at Dota 2 Pro Tracker right now. You can't see it. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I can make it so you can see it, though. One second. Um, I, can, I can look at it, too. Let's see. What? Why? Hold on. Oh, here we go. Take me a while. Don't worry. Like a very, it seems like it is bought often, but it's very late. Purchase yeah, very... it, it's it's bought later. Um, I mean, I don't know who this seven Jesu guy is, but he's like buying it a lot, and like most other people are not buying that much. Um, from what I'm seeing. And yeah, if they do buy it, it's like usually pretty late, and and maybe not late, but like after like some yeah, other like major items mjolnir um, after so, yeah, yeah and there's a lot of people not buying basher i would just recommend to like lean away from basher um yeah yeah i don't know who the seven jester guy is but he is spamming jug and buying basher a lot but um yeah i would just i would just lean away from it as like a major item well um, normally normally i would go, go banta or Assange. you know Normally, that's what I would do, is build Manta or Sanj. But this game, I didn't really need a... I didn't think I needed a Manta for anything. Mm, yeah, I think I think Manta would be reasonable this game. I'm not saying you have to get one, but it dispels Jakiro shit without having to use spin. It also dispels track without having to use spin. It also oh, makes dispersion that. not work. If you Manta while Specs hitting you, like he's not dispersioning you anymore. Mm. Um, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it, I I think there's like Any Manta Manta can be used in very complicated ways that I think low MR players don't consider a lot. So it's it's okay if you weren't like thinking about all these things. Can you Manta um, gaze sinister gaze? Um, no, but if you Manta, he doesn't know which one's real. So. You know, you single before. target. Yeah, you you before Same him, with like right? Pudgelty, right? Like if if they're like walking up to you to like use an ability on you, and you Manta, like they can't like just instantly grab you, right? They have to like kind of figure out what's going on. Yeah. So, I think Manta would have been reasonable. I think Sanjin Kaya also, or Sanjin Yasha, I mean, also would have been reasonable, just because they yeah. do have a BKB piercing disable, Ice Path. They have like some things that you could like get rid of. 
Um, but otherwise... Yeah, I mean, I probably... I would either go Sanjin... Probably Sanjin Yasha or Manta. Probably into, like, Scotty, just to, like, tank up. And the anti-heal is, like, good against, like... Um... Spectre and Pudge a little bit, but also just like makes you tanky, which is nice. Um, mm -hmm. Probably into like Shard, something like that. But yeah, like it's just like as an item, it's just twenty five flat damage. Like it does not help you farm at all. So you have no defensive item now, and you got an item, it doesn't increase your farming efficiency like at all. Um, Rel yeah. Relative to any other item you could have completed, like Skullbasher, just did not increase your farm speed at all. Top um, I like your buying clarities, like keeping your resources full. That's good. Blocking our own camp, Sedge. Alright. That's good though. Farming on the way to lane. Times it. A little bit faster. We'll wrap this up with enough time to like take a look at the second game. Okay, so we see a bunch of heroes bo uh, in their triangle. Okay, so you clear the wave under the tower, and then you don't hit the tower. I think it's fine. It's reasonable. Um, back up a little bit. I like that you're hanging around the area here. You have your ult, so I think farming, like kind of staying around where your team is, is good. I think yeah, I'm kind of doing now what you wanted me to do earlier. Yeah, I think here you can hit this tower. Like, given that, like, you killed one of them and your whole team's hanging out right here, and you have your ulti up, like, I wouldn't be afraid to hit this tower right now. It's yeah. crazy annoying. Um, like, if you're solo split pushing, your team's off doing something else, like, it'd be crazy to hit the tower. But given where your team is positioned, I think you could have hit the tower there. Yeah. I mean, now that they've, like, left, right, I, like, wouldn't want you to do the same thing, so. Yeah, so here, you, you have a timing. This is what's happening here, is you have a timing. You've finished your basher. You know, I, I don't think it was the best item, but you finished an item, you've got your ult. When did this happen? This is kind of what I was talking about back in the beginning, where... Um, wow, you got this a long-ass time ago. These are the points where you can, like... You need to, like, feel kind of empowered to, like, make something happen with your team. Yeah. Call for a smoke. Um, see if your team comes behind you. Like, you should be looking for a fight right here. Like, you should be wanting a fight to happen with your team around you. Not, like, right this second, but, like, you're a power spike, you have your ult. There's no reason you shouldn't not want to, like, pressure an objective and, like, progress the game and, like, dare them to fight you over it. So um, I shouldn't just be saying, like, hey, guys, let's, you know, come down here and let's take this tier two. I have my Omni. Yeah, exactly. Like guys, like, I'm strong. Come play behind me. Like, let's force them to, like, fight us. You know, or like smoke with your team, right? Like say, like walk to your team and be like, hey guys, like let's smoke and like just fucking run at them, you know? Um, you know, maybe yeah. don't like run into their triangle, right? Like run down here, look for a pick off and like turn it into a tower, right? Yeah. Um, or if you see, if you saw a specter top, right? You can like run into a specter or something. Um, don't kamikaze into the triangle when you have like no vision of anybody, but you know, some sort of play would be good to go for here. Um, so I like... Yeah. That's what I'm thinking right now, and like it's kind of taking a while. Like obviously you're not calling for this, right? Because, but like you guys get a pick off here, and you're crazy strong right now. So like this to me is like a signal to like just take this tower. Like this tower seems free to me right now. Yeah. You have a dead hero, and you're like a, at a very strong power spike. Yeah. Um, and then you just kind of, you know, I I think you're not recognizing the opportunity. Obviously your team's not. Your team's not in your shoes. Like as carry, especially like as we get into this phase in the game and later. Um, you have an idea of when you want to fight, and then you're kind of the most important person to be at fights. So it's a, it's kind of on you to, like, tell them, like, what you want to do, right, versus what you don't want to do. Um, so, like, I want you to, like, be willing to, like, show up to this shit, you know? And, like, I, I want you to have this idea that you need to, like, force, not need to, but, like, you should be trying to force things to happen when you're really strong at, like, at a power spike, right? Like, here yep. again, like, you, they killed the bounty hunter again. I guess you did lose two heroes. I don't know what that happened. Okay, I guess you don't need to hit it with me. two heroes dead. Um, but I really would not feel too afraid of them, especially if you guys like have good positioning on like a fight. Because you finally take it, it's reasonable. Given that your team wasn't like behind you at all, I think what what did end up happening was reasonable. 
Um, so you're going to be coming up on another item soon. Awkward Omni Slash. Yeah, and these are like the type of engagements that are like I like not very like good because they're just not coordinated. Like you're not there, your tusk isn't there. Um, so like it's important to like kind of be on the same page as your team here. I think when you should still be in like the mode of like you can force something to happen. Like their Jakiro's dead, right? So like farm towards your team, like farm this camp, and then run with your team, right? You guys got this tier two, you got this outpost. Like you can just continue progressing the game here. And what's happening is your team, they're, uh, I'm not saying that this is like, they're playing right and you're playing like shit, right? But what they're thinking probably is like, we're owning. Like their Jakiro's dead, we're strong. And so they're trying to play aggressively on the map. And what you're doing is you're like just playing away from them when you're really strong. Yeah. And, and while you guys are ahead, and like they shouldn't really be like getting in this deep when you're not there, but like you should kind of like be like close. You were walk, granted you were walking close to them. They got like kind of a, I don't know if it was a lucky hook. They got a good hook to start it. Um, but regardless of like exactly how this fight turns out, which like is not ideal because you lost to here to start. Um, yeah, on the slash during haunt, it's not really ideal. Awesome. You lost a bunch of heroes, so you should be getting the fuck out. That happens sometimes. Like, it's okay. Kind of would have liked to see you run bottom there. I don't really like your farming. Like, you lost the fight, right? And what are they going to do? Like, once they're, like, clearly not chasing you anymore, right? They're not really chasing you at this point. They're just, like, killing that guy. They're gonna like try and push an objective if they're good. If they're bad, they won't and it doesn't matter, right? But if they're decent, they're gonna try and push an objective, probably mid, because they're right here and they just wanna fight and you still have your mid tower. So like, what can you do while they're pushing your mid tower and you've got three heroes dead? Like you can't defend your mid tower, right? You don't have Omni, heroes are dead. But you can just go split push, right? You can just clear this ginormous wave and then like back the fuck off if it seems like they're like coming for you. Or yeah. you can spin TP out because they have nothing to cancel your spin TP with punch dead. Yep. So, like, what? Once fights have been lost, and if you're still alive, like, really, just look to split push safely, and it would be like safe. You would like just run straight bottom right there. Would have been totally safe to do that. Um, yeah, you kind of like throw by showing up to this. Oh yeah, I, yeah, no, that was absolutely horrible. I don't. Yeah, I mean, it, I remember thinking like, oh, why did I do that in the game? That was ridiculous. Yeah, and it's just like what what you have to be thinking ahead of time, right? You have to be thinking, I'm not going to be defending mid. I've got three heroes dead, and, like, that's what should key you into, like, be pushing bottom in the first place, and it also just keys you in, like, not making plays like this, right? It's, like, yeah. knowing knowing ahead of time, like, what you want to do or not do. Well, I think it's worth... I think it's maybe worth thinking about that for a second, about why did I go in there. I mean, I think it probably has something to do with, like, I felt the tilt a little bit, probably, of that last fight, right? Like, I, I probably felt like a little tilted that that fight went wrong, and I was probably like trying to like, I just kind of unconsciously still make something happen, you know. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, there's not much to say about it other than just you know push bottom instead. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think I, I get what you're saying. Um, right, you you felt strong, and then the fight went bad, and then you were like kind of upset, and you like kind of wanted to make up for it. Yeah, um, something like that. And hopefully, like, kind I I think what we talked about before, and like pressuring on like your timings, and like playing near your team, and like going for a play. Like, if you're in that mindset ahead of time. Like, you'll have yeah. less fights that go really poorly, or even if they, like, right. do, you'll, like, you'll have an understanding of, like, oh, maybe this didn't work because of, like, X, Y, or Z. Because I think when, like, yep. you lose a fight like that and you don't know why, um, or you're, like, not really sure, like, why it went so poorly, you know, it's like, oh, my wish doctor fed before I got there, right? Like, what's going on? Like, then you can feel the need to, like, kind of adjust your play and, like, in a neg in, in a way that ends up being negative. But if you have, like, a good idea of, like, what you should be doing and, like, confident about your decisions, you'll have less moments of, like, 
you know, frustration about things that happen the way they did. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. It's hard to keep a cool head all the time, but, um, you know. The mindset of fighting around your timings, right? I mean, you had heroes dead, but, like, you didn't even have, like, Omni, right? Like, you just, like, were not strong in any sense. Um, no, 100%. So you want to be thinking, like, when yeah. do I want to fight them, right? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, it's easy to say, oh, don't fight them right there, but, like, you know, when do you want to fight them? Those are the, like, that's, like, the mindset that will, like, help you. Yeah. So you're going... Silver Edge. Yeah, you're just gonna not be tanky at all, which I don't really like. You just have no defensive items. Yeah, no defensive item, yeah. And, like, even if you don't need, like, a straight-up defensive item, like, I would have upgraded this Yasha either way, like I said. Yeah, um, yeah. But, like, something like a Scotty, like, tanks you up, right? Like, this, yeah. this is just so glass cannon-y. Um, yep. Is your problem, like, really, like, you know... Silver Edge sort of makes sense because they have a Spectre, right? And it, as a later game in the game item, like, I yeah. kind of get it. And I don't think it's unreasonable. But, you know, what are the issues, like, you know, we're having? And, like, it's just good to have defensive items, like, in general. Like, having no defensive items, like, kind of nuts. Like, you will just, you know, not... Uh, you'll, you'll just die, you know. You get caught here. Here. You know, this guy's like chasing you. I definitely would have like just you can just spin and then I'll dispel the track and then you can shadow blade and then you're like kind of scot free. I don't really thought about that interaction. But, uh, no. Like, tracked, right? So you can't just like shadow blade and run away. But if you spin to dispel the track, um, then you're good. Yeah, I didn't realize I could dispel track. I actually don't know anything about Bounty Hunter, really. I don't understand the hero at all. Um, yeah. Track is dispellable. So... Okay. Um, it's really annoying because he sees you for, like, fucking 30 seconds, right? When you have the yeah. debuff. But if you have a dispel, like Manta, um, yep. you know, or Lotus or Yules or whatever, right? You can, like, get it off for you. Um, so... Okay. It's good to know. Because it, it'll see you through invis, so you can't just Shadow Blade away. All right, so what's going on here? You... You have your Silver Edge, right? You have your Silver Edge, you have Omni Slash. Um, like, I would just want to see you go for, like, a proactive play here. Like, you're right next to your whole team, you know? Like, ju just try to do something as a team here in this situation. Like, yep. there's no reason when you just complete a big item and you have all your spells up to just hit creeps. Um, there's just no reason. Like, this is the strongest you're going to be for the next, like, five minutes. Like, this exact moment is the strongest you will be relative to them for the next five minutes is like yep. right after completing this item so any fight you take like three minutes from now is gonna be worse than whatever you were to find like now and if you yep. if you intentionally choose moments to make your plays when you're strong not only does it like benefit you because you're strong but like people at your mmr are just so bad at like coordinating in general like this is like just like the structure of like how do i coordinate my team as a carry, it's the easiest, I think, at low MMRs, because it's literally just like, guys, I have my ult, I have finished an item, like, let's go fight. Like, that is the yeah. main thing that, like, that's, that's the main thing yeah. at my bracket that, like, people fight around post, like, 25 minutes, is, like, yeah. does our carry have his ult and, like, have an item? Like, yes? Like, let's just fucking go. Um, And it's just, like, it's pointless running around, like, hitting creeps. It just lets random shit happen, right? Like, I mean, this guy would have died even if you had smoked here. Like, you guys would be on the way up here, right? Um, oh, there's some items. Um, but, like, if you're, like, calling for this to happen, like... Like, I mean, we could be, like, back here, right? You could be, like... You just TP here. Be like, guys, like, I'm healing. Like, I'm gonna walk to mid and, like, let's smoke. And, like, this Tusk might walk mid and then you guys could smoke as five right now, right? If you're, yeah. like, calling for these plays... It will prevent random your teammates from going and doing random shit, which yep. is what this Tusk is doing when he dies. He's just like farming a lane alone away from his team for like three waves in a row, and then their team reacts to what he's doing because nothing else is happening. You know, so like, I'm not saying like it's your fault that Tusk died, but like if you're like calling for the plays around your strong timings, like it'll just work. 
Like, I promise you it'll just work. Uh, right? Like, any fight you guys took of, like, as five, like, probably would have worked fine. Um, especially if it's night, not around a creep wave and your Omni Slashes and, like, getting to the next first. That was an interesting attempt. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, and while you have heroes dead, like, it's important to pressure, um, but your goal should not be to, like, your goal should be to force a reaction and then leave, not to, like, kill who shows up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, at this point, you've kind of forced a reaction already. I, you see Spudge and Pudge Inspector. Like, here, I'm going to try to Omni this guy. I mean, I get what you're going for. It almost works, but he mantles in the creep wave. And, yeah. I, mean, I guess if it's like more of an obvious situation, like if it's a squishy hero at a tier two. Yeah, like yeah. All, all of them, right? But like if it's in a situation where it's like late game, and like yeah, solo at their high ground, it's like way risky. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And like, and and then you can just be happy with the reactions you force, right? Like if you, yeah. if this guy like TPs and then you just shadow blade away, right? You can just like run up here and like maybe you find somebody else while you're shadow blading. Like you can omni slash yeah. somebody else that you find, right? Um, you force yep. a reaction already. They're not getting anything off your heroes being dead. It's like kind of all you need. Um, it's really like all you need is like for them to not get anything off you being dead. And like that's good enough. Like you don't like you um, don't feel like too tilted when like your team like feeds doing something dumb, right? If. If you can just prevent the enemy from getting anything off, like, your supports dying or whatever, like, that's, like, good enough to just, like... Because it's the same thing as, like, what I was talking about for you, right? You didn't group... You're you're not calling for your team to group around your timings. You're not taking advantage of your opportunities. Your enemy's not going to do it either, right? Like, they have two... You have two years dead, and the enemy is not, like, grouping up as five and, like, taking Roshan or, like, taking this top tier two, right? If you yeah. can just prevent them from, like, getting anything significant accomplished while not feeding like that's like good enough to when your teammates will respawn and then you can like just group up as five when you're like in a power spike again right just kind of delay the game in that sense and that's okay. like good enough um it can feel really tilting when your teammates like feeding i know it can but um yeah i promise you your low mr like supports like feeding here and there are not what like determines the game what determines the game is like how you play around like these periods where they're like dead right can you just like apply a little bit of pressure and then like get out and make your team to respawn? Great, because like the enemy is probably gonna like fuck up like next time you fight them, right? Because everybody's really bad. Yeah. Um, all right, so we'll probably take a look at a second replay. Um, do you have any more questions about this game? No, I think the main takeaways are uh, earlier on in the game, make sure that I'm rushing to a lane whenever humanly possible and. And then later in the game, I just need to uh, make sure I'm trying to make plays with my team when I'm my, when I have my power spikes. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, if you do those two two things effectively, you will go far, my friend. Like Crusader, far <laughs> back <laughs> to Crusader. Good. Yeah, that would be. I mean, that would be great. Yeah, because it's just like it just makes. I feel like there's no reason why I should be dropping like mmr like i feel like i definitely have what it takes yeah it, i mean you were like, you were way ahead that game this game i mean yeah it's just that's why it's just frustrating just just like, the, the decision making here? and like, not like not taking fights when you're strong um is what is what was holding you back for sure okay okay um, good okay so this is the second game who are you this game uh, Faceless Void. Faceless Void. Okay, cool. Looking at a different hero. You start with six tangos a lot. Most most high level carries, pretty much all high level carries. Nobody's starting with two sets of region these days. If you think you're gonna need more, just fly it out after the rune. It's just better to yeah. like, just fill it up with the, just get one tangos and get two iron branches, and you have like, it's like really slot efficient. Gives you extra stats and HP, all that good stuff. Got an Arcana Enjoyer here, I see. Yeah, you know, what else am I going to do? I do it all the time. Spend my money on it. <laughs> they call it disposable income for a reason, right? Exactly. Um, Alright, so this is like a hard as fuck lane. 
Yeah. And this, this is a lane where you shitty. do want a stick. Okay, so let's look at their lineup, right? You're going to be against. Oh yeah. Well, the only thing about a stick, Sky yeah. or Undying, and probably like Veno or Pudge. But both these supports are supports you'd want to buy a stick against. Yeah, I guess for some reason, I guess I see stick is more of a mana item, but it does give you a lot of health too. But because the thing with like Faceless White is he doesn't have mana issues at all mm -hmm. in the laning phase, right? Like, but it would still be good for the health for sure, given how much this guy is going to be spamming decay and stuff. So I guess that's why I don't consider it on Faceless White as much, just because he doesn't need as much mana. Yeah, don't, um, think of it, don't think of it as just a mana item. It's just an item that you should buy when they're spamming a bunch of spells. Um, okay. And, you know, it's like kind of a, a little bit of a fine line, right? Um, or it can be. Sometimes it's obvious. Sometimes it's obvious you shouldn't get it, and then, you know, there's times in the middle. Um, but certain supports, like, just, like, auto-buy. Like, Sky and Undying, both of them. Just, just auto-buy the stick. I don't even care yeah. what hero you're playing. I'm um, just yeah. go for the health. Um, so it's probably going to be a hard lane. What you even could have done, this lane is started like... Uh, I don't think his Wraith Band's good at all. I think his Wraith Band's trash. Um, because the armor is not... You're like... The armor is not how you're going to be losing most of your damage. Or health. Like It's like the poison and the decay stacks. Like adding no, I'm definitely not going to be fighting... I don't plan yeah, to you're not really going to be manning these guys. or trading, yeah. really. I just um, I have no idea what else to buy on this guy, like, to start with, I guess. Yeah, so, like, what you can do is you can start, like, Tango. You could even start, like, actually, Double Tango could have been okay if you'd started, like, Double Tango, Quelling, Stick, and, like, three branches. And okay. then, like, eat one of the branches um, and, like, rush, like, a fucking Morbid Mask. Like, yeah, just yeah, sustain yeah. and get a Morbid Mask ASAP. Um, that would be like very reasonable. Yeah, that's a good idea, especially the morbid mask thing. I yeah. guess this like versus a Vano, it kind of makes sense. You could go two sets of tangos. Yeah, yeah. Given given like their like kind of lineups, I actually don't hate the two sets of tangos. I do kind of hate this wraith band. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And then go on the morbid mask. Um, that's super good idea because you're gonna want that anyways as soon as possible if you have to go to the jungle. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna help if you need to go to the jungle. It's gonna help if, um, like, sustain the lane as long as you can, if you can, and yeah. So yeah, I would take in time dilation level two. I think it's good against any heroes that are like casting spells. Yeah. I almost always, actually, in almost all my lanes these days, I'm taking time dilation level two, um, and then I'm like two one one, and then at that point, if you get booties of jungle, you can go back for bash. If you're like continuing to lane, you can like keep maxing time walk. It kind of depends. Um, unless they're casting like no spells, like I almost, I almost always take time dilation level two. Okay, so we're like we're back going a little bit better. It feels like in this game so far. Oh, you definitely can't put two points in bash here in this situation. I mean, you can, but like. You're like rushing for Are you just like planning to bail on this lane as fast as possible? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I guess that was my thinking is um, my E is my best farming ability. And well, okay, to be honest with you, let's say even if I wasn't going to bail the lane, I'm, I, I always max, I think I always max E. Yeah, it's just not... Like, in lane, it doesn't do a whole lot for you. Like, once you've left the lane, you can go for it. But, like, the cooldown on the cooldown on time walk is actually, like, kind of major. Like, that's why you kind of need more than one point in it. Um, yeah. So, like, like, like I said, I usually am, like, 2-1-0 at level 3. Um, so there's definitely, definitely a correlation, too. Like, if you're gonna, if you're going to go stick that means that you're also definitely going to go W, right? Because it's like, if they're spamming spells, then you would also I mean, yeah, go W. I mean, sort of. Yeah, you can think about it that way, I guess. Um, like, you want it. Those, like, stick and time dilation both make sense in, like, the same scenario, I guess. Here, I mean, it's okay. okay. You take, take kind of more damage than you should. What is with this bug? Why can I not freaking see... 
can't even like see what I want to see. He didn't notice Chen pulled here and it completely demolished right. his stack. So like if you just pulled it back in the tower, you would be 100% fine here. Um, so I think you just like didn't have an awareness what your support was doing. Because um, you took like a lot of extra damage. Like you're like at a third HP at this point now. Um, this guy's still hitting you. By the way, you can like eat this tree right here. I don't think you can see my mouse, but there's a tree. You yeah, can I can see it. I, yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah. 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 Um, that's what you're saying, yeah. And you can, like, no, that's a really good tip because I one. remember sitting here being like, what the fuck do I do now? Yeah, the, this tree. <laughs> you, you have to know about this tree if you're if you're like a side laner. Um, okay. Tango it. Growing blade it. Keep running. You can often give him the loop-de-doop, right? You can just like run back out this way. You don't want to like run back under your tower, just tombstone. But, or you can just keep running the trees down this way, right? Because um, you didn't have time walks, so... Yeah. Okay, so lane is trash. But they did use Tombstone. I don't mind you coming back to lane here. It's obviously really early, but... I'm like kind of at the point of like, oh, should I leave like this lane right now? Maybe? But they, they didn't have Tombstone, so... This guy's being a little annoying. This Chen is like actually not really helping you. He like pulled once and otherwise he's like just completely like not being a part of the lane at all, which is unfortunate. That, that'll happen. I mean, it's yeah. It's possible to recover. You can have bad lanes to recover, so... We'll see how it goes. Is you are you watching any of my YouTube videos? Yeah, actually, I remember. I'm just so used to my just being a trash item that I don't even think about it. Um, I think I think that's what you're gonna get to, right, Midas? Well, I just had a I just had a video recently that I made. Yeah, I watched that with the Jesus okay. Void trash lane one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's all I was gonna say. Um, I think I should have gone um, Midas. You could have considered it. I, I I don't think like at your level. I don't think it like minus is like not a huge short. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you're gonna just go morbid into maelstrom, that's like fine. I think I do end up recovering okay. fine enough. So you have the morbid. I like that you laned a little bit and then Beno came back and you left. It's like reasonable. You're going mid. Kind of like I I like this a lot actually that you went mid here. Kind of like monitoring the lanes, it seems like. I definitely would be... Oh, I don't like this TP at all. I, I well... I don't know why I tp it there. Maybe because there's a catapult hitting it? Right, well, let's figure out exactly when we could have... Because we should be wanting to go to a lane like we talked about last game, right? Like, right now we see on dying top. I'd kind of be willing to, like, run at this guy. He was, like, the support. Wow, yeah, near my tier two, I shouldn't annoying. be that worried usually, right? Yeah, I mean, this guy can't like solo kill you. He can like be annoying, no. but you can like hit some creeps in his face and then leave or something. Sure, um, yeah. And then we are seeing a bunch of heroes bottom now. Well, we're only seeing a Venom on their side, I guess. The Pudge is mid, wow. Oh yeah, I think I, I probably oh, TP'd there just because I was like a massive creep wave. Yeah, I, I was just trying to defend, I guess. If you're being aware, like you should be looking, right? You could have walked here right now. You would have missed like one creep, maybe two. But I, I would. It's it just just walk. Yeah, just walk. Um, but it looks like you weren't really paying attention. And then, well, you looked a little bit late, but you already started walking the other way, so you just TP. It's okay. It's, it's not ideal, but it's kind of good way you did it. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, so we got the mask of madness. We walk to a different lane. This is reasonable. Uh, I think you're like too scared here. Uh, um, you, oh, did you see the sky? How did you see that sky? Yeah. Oh, we killed your sentry I ward. I see, I see. Okay, I missed that the first time around. Okay, so this makes sense what you're doing. That's why I ran like so far up to the top there. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I just yeah. missed the sky wrath, but it's because I'm watching it times four. So you have Chrono, so I'd be like kind of monitoring what's going on and like willing to show up, possibly. So you don't right. have to like go take a fight like right this second. Um, okay, so you're like checking it out, it looks like. Got a kill. I think I would have farmed mid here. You've got like 
six to eight seconds before like somebody can be back over here, right? And you can like time walk away to the left. There's like a creep wave right here, which we can't see because of these lovely replay bugs. Uh, what is happening? But like, there's creeps here, right? And they're like not, they're like still doing shit. So you could like kill this really fast, or at least like two yeah. or three of the creeps, and then yeah. go top. Um, and yeah. that just like relieves pressure, because like, what if they finish whatever this is, and like say your bounty dies, and then they like want to go like, yeah, push your mid tower, but then they don't like don't have a creep wave, right? That's like yeah, that's something the that carry can do, even if he's not like fighting to like help his team, right? And, yep. Like, slow yep. down what the enemy wants to do. But you did the second best thing, which was like walk to the lane top where nobody is, so I don't hate it too much. So we're Especially with Boy, because he's even more useless than Jug early on. Yeah. Um Yeah, I feel like you should have put a some a point in time relation at some point. I feel like time relation is like really good against your team. Undying hates it, Sky hates it, Venom doesn't care too much, but Probably really good against Meepo, too. I thought about it, but it seems really good. Okay, so when you see all these heroes bottom, like you just have to stop jungling this camp. Um, like you're jungling. I think Meepo's bottom, Sky's top, Undying's mid, right? But like as soon as like now, like you don't have to like realize like the split second it happens, right? But you should have some awareness of like what's happening on the map. Like right, you're because you stay at this camp for like another like. 12 seconds and like finish the whole thing but like you should be seeing that there's like four heroes bottom five heroes bottom for them right so like, yeah that should be your key to like i would run mid because your chrono is going to be up soon so if you run mid you can push it out and then you can choose and connect with chrono do i connect or does it look like shit yeah and i just like do not um that's like 100 percent what you need to be doing here shouldn't be too hard to fix in this phase of the game just make sure i'm going to these lanes more often yeah I mean, you've done a fairly good job. It's just being aware of like where the enemy team is and like what lanes are safe, right? Kind of the same thing we've been talking about. You've been doing better this game, it feels like, than you did with Joke last game, but um, yeah, still yep. the same concept. And then like right, if your ult's up, then you have the choice: like, do I go? Do I not go? Um, and in the meantime, you're like applying maximum pressure. Okay, so you are gonna show up to this. Your team cleaned up without you. That's fine. I don't mind that you like came over here and like looked to help. Like it's okay that like you don't end up using your own here. But like I, it was good. That I, I like the choice to like walk over there. Got our items. We got Chrono. I still be looking to like possibly show up to any fight as long as is is you continually have Chrono. Like you can just continually look to show up to fights until eventually you like do show up to something and use it. Yeah. Um, so the fact that your team is like five in your triangle, I don't really like that you're farming away from them here just because you had Chrono. Um, so now you're kind of farming towards them. Okay, this is good. Did die. But guys do kind of clean them up. I don't usually care about execution too much. Let's just watch this back. Like maybe if you'd like just been here a little bit sooner, right? Um, things could have been a little bit different. Yeah, and I mean the sky is definitely. I mean I think I died because of the sky, right? Uh, hard to even see what's going on. I get silenced. What? Oh, I think it was a lot of pure damage from the meepo poops. Yeah, the meepo killed you. Just unfortunate because you like almost killed him. Yeah, if you just killed this Meepo right here, you like. I think in situations died. like these, I'm just kind of like. Sometimes I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. There's so much shit yeah, going on. Right that's now. okay. That's just life. Like... <laughs> uh, yeah. th th this was like very close to like going very well because if Meepo didn't get all those poops off, you would have not lost all of his HP and you definitely would not have died. So that, that was really close to working well. Not too much else to say about it. It's okay. I think the thing I learned about Void is that he just hates silences. Um, yeah, he does. This game... Can you even consider Manta instead of BKB? BKB is yeah, good. Because Manta dispels Venno shit. It also dispels Silencer Silence. 
It does dispel net. Obviously, he like could try and net you again, but if you like Manta and Time Walk away, like the odds that he's getting a second net off on you are like pretty low. You consider it. I don't hate BKB though. I, I think it's fine. Like just go like the normal build too. Okay, so you walk out of base when you respawn bottom. Farm some creeps on your way to the lane. This seems reasonable. It's all good. It's all good. Your team's fighting top. You don't have Chrono. It's fine. So you're pushing the lane. It's good. I thought I would have farmed that whole wave. Maybe I would have died for it, but... So here you have... When does your Chrono come up? So here your Chrono's up again. Um, so I'd be looking to, like, possibly show up to something, or, like... Well, I guess you want to farm your BKB. That's, like, your timing here. I'd be, like, checking out what's happening here. Like, you don't want to fight. But, like, you could, like, look and be like, oh, I'm not going to go to that, right? But if it looks different, then yeah. maybe you could, like, go to it, even without BKB, right? Just because you have Chrono. Yep. You don't have to, like, force something to happen right now, though, because you are very close to BKB. Right, so you got BKB coming out. You got Chrono. So this is like another one of these timings, right? Where you should be like, you should be wanting to do something very much right now and like encourage yeah. your team. Okay, so you draw a line down here, which is like kind of reasonable. Okay, it is reasonable, it is reasonable. Enemy team's dodging you, kind of makes sense. I don't remember what oh, pace boy is missing. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I was like, you should be calling for your team. I, I would have been like calling my team to defend that guy. No. Like, yeah, I don't think fight. it. Yeah, I need, that's definitely something I need to do better. That's a big thing for me. Yeah. Even if it's just letting you know, like, guys, like, I will take any fight right now that I can TP to. Like, just to let them know that you'll show up there. Yeah. Yeah, I have to get flamed a lot uh, by my team for not joining enough and of course you know that's not always you shouldn't always listen to your team but i think there is a certain element of truth to what your teammates say if you hear it like continually over like hundreds of games right <laughs> yeah um like here I and those my... and those hundreds of games you didn't gain gain any mmr <laughs> maybe maybe here, I'd be telling my team to, like, back. Like, I'd just be like, guys, like, I don't have Chrono. Let's, let's just wait until my Chrono's back up, and then we'll, like, fight them again or, like, take Roshan or something. That's what I'd be saying. Like, let's yeah. fight when I have Chrono again, because they, like, all get caught out. And, like, maybe they do the same fucking thing. Like, who knows, but... That's what like, I would I don't say. Even need to really like, if I saw my team my... not backing up there when I was backing up, I'd just be like, guys, like, I'm not going to be there. Like, I don't even need to really listen to my... I don't even need to have... I can mute them all, pretty much, and just, like every once in a while just like say something right just like hey like yeah we should yeah. probably back up now or like hey i'm ready to fight let's do this mm -hmm. you know just like simple things like that yeah okay it's kind of cool i guess we made it out kind of ballsy but it's all good okay so they have three heroes dead here like i know you don't have chrono but like like i think it's fine what you did here ran to the triangle but as soon as you guys win the fight there like, i'd like strongly consider going to roshan because you guys have like a chen um which like makes roshan pretty easy i'd be considering it because you have five years alive and they do not what does he do to make chen easy i don't know much about chen um i think just the creeps yeah and his like aura yeah. he, granted he doesn't have a lot of levels in it like kind of sustains your team which makes it easier. You guys don't have a ton of Roche damage for Roche, though, so I guess you don't have to. I would just consider it, and then, you know... If you, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you consider it, and you're like, nah, that's fine. So you're going to Scotty. So you have your Chrono again. Another big timing, it feels like. Definitely would be looking to like kind of play with my team. I think at this point Roshan should be the main objective. Like you're kind of 
paying for bottom, but like I'd rather just fight them around Roshan and take that. Because like if Meepo gets Roshan, it's gonna pay, be a pain in the ass, right? Yeah. Um, so like at this late in the game, the fact that nobody's taking Roshan is kind of wild. I feel like somebody should have taken it. Um, but like when it gets this late in the game, the tier twos are less important than like the Roshan if it's still alive. So um, that should okay. be your priority, and you should be like looking to make a play towards Roshan with your like because you're really strong, right? That should be the yep. objective that you like want to play around. Fighting them. Yeah, if you had a Manta, you wouldn't have died there. It's worth noting. Yep. So what happened here? You got the DD. And you immediately got gone on. Your Mars didn't have arena. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of awkward. Your Chen wasn't here. He also did not use any of his healing on you. Yeah, kind of an awkward start to the fight. Like if yeah, the, I mean. yeah. Like if you guys are just like coordinated and looking for a fight instead of just like taking whatever comes along, like they'll go better, right? Right. Like having your timings and recognizing, okay, we're strong right now. Like let's group up and like look for a fight together, and then everyone's on the same page when it starts, and everyone's there, right? Instead of like people not being there or people not being ready or like being yeah, forced like to use your spells jumps, when, yeah. before you want to, right? You yep. have to blow your BKB super early because this Pudge is like on top of you. So if you're just like together looking for a fight as a team, like a better fight will just happen on average. So playing chill. I kind of like this that you're like not going back base here. I think a lot of low MR players like TP out there. Um, I would have like, given that like nobody else was showing, like I wouldn't be too afraid to show here. Because you like just BKB TP out. They can't really stop that. They get the rush on now. Like not applying any pressure. It's not terrible, but. I was gonna say like not that you shouldn't be like hanging out right here but like you want to be out on the map like I liked what you were doing earlier and now you see that they're all here pushing mid right like don't run towards your team like you have a TP like just go fucking farm right yep like you can come back at any time with a TP best case yep. scenario they stop pushing to come hunt you and then you like just you know, don't die. You just like back out and TP away, right? You don't get caught because you like you like would pay attention, right? If you're like, okay, they're pushing, yeah. like I can just do whatever the fuck I want. And then if you notice that they stop pushing, you're like, all right, now I just hide or like TP out now, right? They've yeah. obviously like backed. Um, I don't, I don't blame you for getting the hook right here. They have some like crazy word that's like what it is, but like you just shouldn't have been here in the first place, right? You should have just been out pushing. Yep. Um, this is the end of the game, so. Good time to wrap it up anyways. Um, you have any questions on that game? I saw some similar um, things, it seemed like. Yeah, it just seems like the main things are just make sure I push the lanes in the earlier game instead of whenever I can. And um, and then also just be more proactive about um, coordinating fights with my team when uh, when I'm strong. Exactly, exactly. The main things. Yeah, you seem to have the like the whole macro component. I mean, this is the second game in a row where you're like top of the net worth by like a decent amount. And like Yeah, I've been super frustrated lately cuz I'm just like, man, like what like what am I doing? Like I can't I'm just like dropping MMR and like low guardian, you know, and I'm like top net worth. I just it's like shit, dude. Yeah, what can yep. I do? <laughs> Set the fights up, do it on your timings. You know, play at objectives when you're strong, you know? Make them fight you. So. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah, I think that'll give give myself a lot more impact. Yeah, play five or ten games and, like, message me and let you know how it's, let me know how it's going. Okay, sounds good, man. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, is there anything else you wanted to ask? If not, that's fine. Just checking. Um. I don't. 
think so. Um, yeah, I think um, the only other thing I've noticed is like I tend to often have very low hero damage. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that that's also could be just kind of like a sympt symptom of just this not coordinating the fights enough. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if like if you have a lot of farm, and then all your fights look trash, like right, you're just never gonna, never gonna have the damage. I I don't think hero damage is like a super great metric, um, but no, it could just no. just kind of be a symptom of like, not, not coordinating the fights around yourself, right? Like, because if you're Definitely. not doing it, you know, maybe somebody on your team is doing it, but they're probably not. Probably not. Yeah. You know, okay. it's just like if you're never taking these good fights, you're never gonna be like racking up the damage so to speak but yeah i i wouldn't i don't i don't put a lot of stock in like hero damage stats or like telling you like how like it, it definitely does not have a direct correlation with like impact in the game okay um, so yeah yeah well, yeah let me try these things i think this will be really helpful so yeah thank you very much okay um well thanks for signing up like i said let me know how it goes and uh, i'll talk to you later hey thanks for watching if you like my channel please give it a subscription if you like the video, give it a like. If you have any questions, I do read the comments, so you know, let me know. And if you want to be coached by me, check the link in the description to my Discord. Uh, and there's all the information for how to sign up there. And I'll see you in the next video.